Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing the module 1 of uh, chemistry super important questions and in this module we have the repeated most repeated super important questions from the previous year papers and don't miss any of them and these are the most uh, important ones and before starting please like and subscribe it helps me make more like this so without wasting more time let's get started the first question is define sensor what are the electrochemical sensors and uh, explain the principle and working of an electrochemical sensor and mention its applications okay so uh, basically what is a sensor okay sensor is a device that detects and measures physical changes in the environment and converts them into signals for processing okay it is a device that detects and measures physical changes whatever the changes that are happening that it will detect and that it will uh convert into signals for processing what is the change happening it was a higher change or lower change like that it will be converted based on some conventions and that will be noted down okay that is the uh, thing what is a sensor okay next is that asked what is the electrochemical sensor okay electrochemical sensor it measures the uh, chemical substances change in a reaction converts into an electric signal based on the chemicals what changes happen it uh, detects that and uh, converts it into an electric signal so this is the uh, diagram you need to make this is the sensing electrode and this is the reference electrode and this is the counter electrode three electrodes will be there and uh, this will be a uh, hydrophobic uh, modulation and here will be the electrolyte okay so based on uh, the reaction whatever the changes are happening it will be detected by the three electrodes okay so firstly it is always requires a closed circuit okay there should be a closed circuit current must flow to make a measurement there should be at least two electrodes which acts as a transducer the surface of electrode should be used as a site of reaction where the uh, reaction should happen at the surface of an electrode an electrode will interact with the analyte analyte is this thing and either by oxidizing or reducing the analyte and uh, the current is produced from that reaction is monitored and used to calculate the important data such as concentration of the sample based on how much uh, current is produced uh, it uh, tells us what is the concentration of the sample means how many electrons are there of that particular chemical okay applications include used to dissolve oxygen in boiled water and used in water analysis and uh, used in solid soil parameter analysis in agricultural applications okay Moving on, we have the second super important question, which is conduometric sensors. Okay, what is a conduometric sensor? Explain in the knee diagram. Uh, chemical sensors which measure the electrical conductivity of an analyte based on the concentration of that analyte. What is the concentration based on that? If it uh, analyzes the electrical conductivity, it is called as conductometric sensors. So construction is as follows: two plates of uh, platinum are there. Okay, two plates of platinum are there, and it is separated by a distance of one centimeter cube. Okay, volume is one centimeter cube between the two electrodes. Now the working is firstly uh, it is a result of dissociation of electrolytes into ions. The working depends on the dissociation of electrolytes into ions. This is electrolyte, this is ions. Okay, based on the dissociation of this, it will be uh, working. Okay, it mi migrates towards the oppositely charged electrodes. Wherever uh, the electron is there, the opposite charge of electron it will go to that place, and ions uh, opposite charge it will go to that place. Okay, so whenever electrons go to the opposite charges, the ions are formed. Okay, so which results in the dissociation of electron into positive and negative ion so this is an electron it can become either positive or negative ion okay so based on the charges present here if it goes to the negative it will be positive ion and if it goes to the positive it will be negative ion because negative will attract positive okay so the result is a neutralization of ions and neutral uh, atoms or molecules okay so it re results in the neutralization of ions because it is uh, separated now and the atoms or molecules will be neutral okay the applications include to estimate the acid and bases in their mixtures how much acid is there how much base is there and to, to check the amount of ionic impurities and to measure the acidity or alkalinity of seawater fresh water and it's used in the enzyme catalyzed reactions to determine enzyme concentration and enzyme activity okay Moving on to the next uh, question which is lithium ion battery lie ion battery what it is and uh, it's working with an example okay so uh, the lithium is a light metal okay with a low electrode potential and a good conductivity it is used for batteries it provides high energy density and is highly potential and available as primary and secondary batteries okay so the construction is as follows we'll be having an anode and a cathode here in anode we'll be having a, a graphene on the copper foil and here we'll be having licoo2 on the aluminum foil and electrode licl and this is a separator okay so these things are there in between what you see is the separator 
for from the anode and the cathode this is the li ion battery okay and some reactions you have to write first is the recharge reaction in recharge what happens the lithium from the cathodic material goes to the anode okay moves to the anode means as you can see here li x plus y is here so uh, the y part of li will be gone to here and x will be remaining with here this is the reaction during the recharge during the discharge the reverse will happen from the anode it comes to the cathode so li y is here li x is here both will be combined here okay and applications used in the electronic devices such as mobile phones in mobile phones what battery we have that is the lithium ion battery okay used for emergency power backup and used in the aerospace application used in the electric vehicles in electric vehicles evs everything lithium ion battery is only used okay next important question is the sodium ion battery it is a rechargeable battery that uses sodium ions and acts as a carriers working principle is similar to the lithium ion battery but replaces lithium with the sodium as cathode material everything is same just that instead of lithium will be having sodium here so nacio2 and electrolyte will be napf and the separator will be the same one here okay and this will be graphite on the copper foil okay and the cell representation is here and the recharge reaction will be as follows na x plus y will be there na will be going here and uh, re, uh, discharge reaction and a y and x will be separate it will be coming and combined here okay next is qdscc which is the quantum dot sensitized solar cells it's a solar cell design that it uses quantum dots as light absorbing photovoltaic material the quantum dots will be there from there the light will be going inside okay that is the quantum dot sensitized solar cells the efficiency is higher in size is tunable and uh, it is low cost the construction is uh, based on two materials SNO2 and TiO2. Okay, this is TiO2, and uh, the anode is present here with the SNO2. The front contact and the back contact will be the uh, platinum electrodes, and this is the CDS. Okay, and this will be anode and cathode, and electricity will be produced based on the sunlight. Here, the conversion will happen, and electricity will be produced. Next, first is excitation. The working will be first writing the excitation state. Firstly, QD will be in the ground state when the energy is absorbed, the HV energy is absorbed, it will become the QD star. This is the excited state. That's the first step. Second step is the uh, formation of holes and pairs. The electrons and the holes will be separated negative and the positive charges and then the third step is the injection process the tio2 will be injected into the holes and electrons so ti and qd will be separated tio2 will be injected with the electrons and qd will remain with the holes okay and then energy will be generated if we combine it with the uh, ce what will be getting is the uh, electrical energy at the end okay so this is how the uh, qdscc uh, works uh, sensor the what is qdcc this is the solar cells okay this these solar cells working is as follows okay this is the photovoltaic absorption um, thing and it works as follows and the application includes used in the power portable electronic devices and used in building integrated photovoltaic cells photovoltaic cells which you have in the roof at the solar panels okay and it used in the space applications as well okay so these are the super important questions don't miss any of them these are the most important ones and uh, please like and subscribe it helps make more like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one